danger-packed show on television. Every jump, every aerial maneuver is real. Photographed just as it happened, without tricks or illusion. All that stands between the jumper and death is his ripcord. Was Ripcord? Well, I'm one of the partners, Jim Buckley. Jack Martin. This is one of my partners, Pete Stanton. Hi, how are you? Glad to know you. We're going to reopen an old gold mine up in the hills. There's no roads in, there's no roads out. Can you drop some equipment in for us? Why don't you get yourselves a bigger chopper and fly it in? Well, there's not enough level ground for a bigger one. Besides, I have to land that thing on an area no bigger than a ping pong table. Oh, this is the other half of Ripcord. Ted McKeever, Mr. Martin, Pete Stanton. Who was flying the helicopter? I was. Well, that's great. I just opened a new account and you just closed it.
But remember the Red River Valley and the cowboy who loves you so true. Hey, this guy's terrific, right? Yeah, man? and you got a good guitar here too, Cheyenne. You got a real nice voice, boy. Just about to close a deal when our uh, public relations department popped in. Is that little incident going to affect it? You might point out that we're not only the best equipment droppers in the area, we're the only equipment droppers in the area. Let it go with that, Jim. That clown got what he deserved. We're not crawling for their business. And I'm ready for you now. No, you're not. I had as much to do with that as he did. It was a bad joke, and we're sorry. Shake. Shake. Oh, you're very forgiving, considering I'm the one that got belted. I've ordered everything we need for that gold mine. Portable generators, jackhammers, provisions, and so forth. And I'll have it delivered to you, and you can make your drops right here until you get it all in. Gambling a lot on an old gold mine. I'm gambling we're going to make money, Mr. McKeever. Is that right, Pete? Yeah, are you ready to leave now? Yes. Until later, gentlemen. Equipment starts coming in tomorrow, Fred. Mm, the sooner the better. You know, these old bones don't like that sleeping bag. Or the tent. I think this is a lot of foolishness, miles from nowhere. It's, it's silly. Fred, we're miles from nowhere, so those old bones of yours won't end up in a cell bunk. Again, it's peaceful, it's quiet, there's no snoopy neighbors. Three or four days, Fred, and we'll be out of here. Your only problem will be how to spend your money. There's no problem how to spend my money. Moment of truth. All right, Rembrandt, start printing. Rembrandt couldn't engrave like this. Few men could. You know there's a lifetime of skill here, young man. And several prison terms.
What's wrong with it? The cogwheel's broken. It must have cracked when it hit the ground. Slight delay. Well, it won't take Pete long to get another cogwheel. It will for this one, unless he wants to fly to Chicago. I don't know where else you could get parts for an old machine like this. Then get another printing press. Pete, take him into town and get another press somewhere. Have it delivered to Ripcord and have them get it up here immediately. And tell them to take some precaution in packing it. Come on, Fred, let's go. Here. Take care of the printing press. I'll handle him. Right. What led you to drop in? A little matter of money, Mr. Martin. We haven't gotten any from you. Are you sure that's why you came down here? I don't understand that remark. Well, I might as well level with you. We're not miners. That is not gold miners. We have a scientist with us engaged in highly secret government work. And Stanton and I are here to assist him and protect that secret. Now, you've dropped down into what might be called a classified area. So, you still owe us the money. I wonder if you're leveling with me, or is that just a good excuse for you being here? Look, just, just pay me off, and I'll get out of your classified area, OK? I'm afraid not. You're confined to this area until we finish. Three or four days. You know, federal officer. No. But I packed the authority. Now take off those boots. It's at least 30 miles to the nearest house or town, and I wouldn't advise trying that in bare feet. Come on. <laughs> extensive collection of Elvis films and performances ever assembled on DVD. I said, come on, baby, it's hot in here and it's all so cool outside. If you lend me a dollar, I can buy some gas and we can go for a little ride. Yeah. She said, hey, boss, I'm over, baby, keep on working, for I ain't got time for that. She said, go, boss, I'm over, baby, keep on dancing or I'll find myself another cat. from
from the Elvis Presley estate comes Elvis, the ultimate film collection, Graceland edition. I wonder why I love you, baby. I guess it's just because you were so square. Baby, I don't care. Baby, I don't care. This extraordinary box set brings together classic Hollywood hits, historic live concerts, and rare collectibles from the Presley Estate's own private archives. I close my eyes and clearly my heart remembers A thousand goodbyes could never put out the embers Darling, I love you so and my heart forever will belong to the memory of the love that we knew before. Please come back to my arms. We belong together. Come to me, let's be sweethearts again. Then let us part no more. The Ultimate Film Collection features nine of the most popular Elvis movies ever. You'll enjoy classic favorites like Jailhouse Rock, It Happened at the World's Fair, and Viva Las Vegas. Spin Out, Speedway, and The Trouble with Girls. And for sheer live excitement, there's nothing like Elvis. That's the way it is. Special Edition. are yours for just four easy payments of only $29.95. Order now and you'll receive even more. This phenomenal collection also includes two brilliant performance DVDs released now for the first time and available only through this special offer. Elvis Black Leather features the biggest hits from Elvis's famed 68 comeback special, hailed by critics as one of the great moments in rock and roll history. You'll also receive Elvis Movie Music Performances, 14 of the greatest Elvis hits from the big screen. Plus, you'll enjoy an exclusive look at Elvis's very own private home movies. Six beautiful 8x10 production photos. Ten 5x7 reprints of the original movie posters, including black leather, each ready to frame. And that's still not all. You'll receive two detailed collector booklets, each filled with fascinating film facts, photos, and behind-the-scenes stories you've never heard. And to top it all off, you'll get what no Elvis fan has ever owned before, a copy of Elvis's own script from Jailhouse Rock. You'd imagine a compilation like this selling for hundreds of dollars. But now, thanks to the Elvis Presley estate, you can own this one-of-a-kind collection in a beautiful collector's case for just four easy payments of only $29.95. We're so sure you'll love this collection. We've backed it with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call the number on your screen or log on now to ElvisBoxSet.com you'll receive the nine classic Elvis movies, the two brand new performance DVDs, Elvis's new CD, and exclusive archive materials, including a copy of Elvis's own script from Jailhouse Rock. But you've got to order now because it's not available in stores. I'm just thinking it's pretty odd we haven't heard from Ted. I'm going to get this radio to him. Well, how are you going to do that? Put him on these boxes. Well, now. Uh, that's my 
mighty strange looking mining equipment. It sure is. You reckon this could have anything to do with not hearing from Ted? Where are you going? I'm gonna go make a phone call. What are you going to do with him? Counterfeit, huh? Secret government project? Sit down. Tire, tire. Actually, what I told you is the truth. It is secret. And the government is interested, in a manner of speaking. Who is it hurt? Well, it's partial pay. Just the beginning. Your friend raises an interesting point. What are you going to do with me? And with Jim. He'll be looking for me and you, you know. Right now, he's your insurance that you'll live. I wouldn't risk a murder rap with him alive to identify us. So you better hope he doesn't drop in here. I, uh... I don't suppose I could buy you off with that Confederate money? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be a murder rap. This old mine looks like I could cave in at any time. With you in it. Of course, we were lucky. We got out in time. Pete, fly those cartons of money out to the shipping point and come right back here. Fred? Turn up as much as you can for the rest of the day, and we'll leave. This is the same paper as the counterfeit tens and twenties our people have been picking up in Europe. This gang has been printing and selling money by the carton to fences all over the world. This is the first lead we've had. Now I don't know if they're still there or not, or what's becoming your partner. I'll telephone for help. You lend me a shoot and drop me near the camp. Oh, that terrain's no good. They'll either spot you when you're coming down, or you'll have to land a day's walk away from there. Hey, a box. I could get inside of a box and drop with the rest of the cargo. Excellent. Sort of a flying Trojan horse. Yeah. I'll get these military jumpers to follow us in. Only I'm going into Troy, not you. <laughs>
federal man. We've got to kill them. He sent me up once before. If he does it again, it's for life. Fred's got a point. I shot him, so I'm in pretty deep, too. Now, don't be stupid. There's a plane circling overhead. It'll follow that helicopter wherever it goes and report it. That would be stupid if it happened. Unfortunately for you, that copter is going to land where it's concealed from the air. Undercover. And before anybody knows what's happened, we'll transfer it to a car and be driving along a main highway with a thousand others. But that's not the problem. The problem is whether to leave you two here, eyewitnesses to counterfeiting, or whether to cave in this mine and leave no eyewitnesses, period. I'll decide it. It's decided. Pete, grab the money, I'll grab the plate. And you may have the artist, so your trip wasn't in vain. I got one good hand. Let me see if I can get you untied. It's not the cavalry. I don't hear any bugles. Uh, here's your uh, pay for the job. Wait a minute. This is Mark Void, counterfeit. You mean we don't get a reward? Just virtue, that's its own reward. I told Ted, if you want to put in a claim, the government will probably reimburse you for all your expenses. Yeah, well, that's just great. Virtue and a claim with the government. If you can put both of them on a deposit slip, I'll run right down to the bank with them. Otherwise, we're overdrawn. Choosing. Your voice I'm sorry, Kirby. I wish it had been. You speak. And tears be dim, your loving eyes. Oh, I will take you back, Kathleen. 